Did you know that according to World Health Organization, anemia is estimated to affect over one-third of the global population, including over three million people in the U.S.? The most common type of anemia is iron deficiency anemia, which mostly affects pregnant women and young children. But iron deficiency also affects many adults too, and as the name suggests, this kind of anemia is caused by iron deficiency. In today's episode, we'll tell you about the 10 signs that your body is begging for iron. Without any further delay, let's begin. Number 1. Unusual Tiredness I'm sure many of you may have experienced feeling tired and exhausted, even after sitting around or without doing anything hectic. One of the most common signs of iron deficiency is feeling extremely tired all the time. And you know why? Because iron plays a major role in the production of hemoglobin, a protein found in red blood cells that helps carry oxygen from your lungs to your organs and tissues. Now, every cell in your body needs oxygen to function properly. So when your body lacks iron, and therefore hemoglobin, your cells and organs do not receive enough oxygen that they need. Eventually, less oxygen is transported throughout your body, leaving you feeling fatigued and worn out. Another thing is that when your body isn't getting enough oxygen, your heart has to work harder to pump more oxygen-rich blood around. So it's no wonder you might feel exhausted and drained of energy. Along with that tiredness, iron deficiency can cause other issues too, like irritability, poor concentration, and low energy levels. So if you've been feeling constantly tired and experiencing these symptoms, it might be worth checking your iron levels. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. Pale Skin If you're low on iron, your body may give you some subtle hints. One of them is having pale skin, which will be especially noticeable on the inside of your lower eyelids. You know, the hemoglobin in your red blood cells gives your blood that vibrant red color. But when you're short on iron, your blood can lose a bit of its usual redness. So, you might notice that your skin isn't as rosy and warm as usual. This paleness can show up all over your body, or just in certain places like your face, gums, lower eyelids, lips, and nails. Actually, this paleness is often one of the first things doctors look for, to check if you're running low on iron, but it's best to get a blood test to confirm it. This paleness tends to be more noticeable if anemia is on the moderate to severe side. If you want to do a quick check yourself, you can also peek at the inside of your lower eyelid. Normally, it should have a bright red color when you pull it down a bit, but if it's more of a pale pink or even a yellowish tint, that could be a sign that your body is begging for iron. Number 3. Shortness of Breath As I said before, when you're low on iron, your hemoglobin levels drop, which means there's less oxygen being transported to the organs in your body. This can cause a bit of a problem for your muscles too, because they need enough oxygen to do their thing, even the simple stuff like walking. So when oxygen levels are low, your body kicks into high gear to try and get more oxygen. One way it does this is by making you breathe faster. That's why you might feel like you're a bit out of breath when you're doing things that used to be easy, like taking a walk, going upstairs, or even exercising. So if you often find yourself in such a situation, it could be a sign that your body needs iron. Number 4. Restless Legs The restless leg syndrome is actually a medical condition, and it's when you feel like your legs have a mind of their own, meaning you may find a persistent need to move your legs, even when you're not on the move yourself. You might also experience itchy or crawling sensations in your legs and feet. It's often a nighttime thing, which can also mess with your sleep. This whole situation is tied to your nervous system and can really put a dent in your overall quality of life. It can also tag along with feelings of anxiety and depression, and it can even bring along a higher risk of heart-related issues. Some studies show that people with iron deficiency are more likely to deal with this condition. In fact, it's about four to five times more common in people with low iron levels, as compared to those who don't have it. And not only is it more frequent, but it can also be more intense and cause more trouble. So, if you're facing restless leg syndrome, it might be because your body is begging for iron. Number 5. Brittle or Spoon-Shaped Fingernails If your body is dealing with low iron, you might notice that your nails aren't quite as strong as they used to be. They can become brittle, easily breaking and flaking. The medical term for this condition is coilonychia, 
and is often a sign of iron deficiency anemia or other underlying diseases. In more advanced stages of iron deficiency, you might notice a spoon-like shape in your nails. It's a bit unusual. The middle of the nail dips down while the sides kind of lift up, creating a rounded appearance like a little spoon. However, this spoon nails thing is actually pretty rare. It only happens to around 5% of people who are dealing with low iron. So while it's a sign to watch out for, it's not the most common thing you'll run into if you're facing iron deficiency. So if you notice these nail changes, it might be a good idea to consider whether your iron levels are in check. Number 6. Headaches or Migraines Now let's see how iron deficiency can play a role in those pesky headaches, especially the migraine kind. When your hemoglobin levels are on the lower side due to iron deficiency, there might not be enough oxygen reaching your brain. And when your brain senses this lack of oxygen, the blood vessels in your head may start to expand a bit. That's like their way of dealing with the situation. But this expansion can create some pressure as well, leading to those throbbing headaches. Another interesting thing is that if your body is low on iron, it will prioritize getting oxygen to your brain over other places. And while that's a good thing for your brain, it might not be so great for your head and the rest of the body. So if you're dealing with headaches that just won't quit and often come and go, it might be worth considering if low iron is playing a role. Number 7. Heavy Periods Ladies, if you're experiencing heavy menstrual bleeding, it's like a red flag for a potential iron deficiency. Of course it can happen due to other reasons too, but if this bleeding comes with a bunch of symptoms, like pale skin, feeling tired and weak, getting dizzy, dealing with headaches, and even struggling to catch your breath, then it's very likely that you have iron deficiency anemia. When you're low on iron, it can mess with how your body regulates its menstrual cycle. Iron is important for your body to create the right balance of hormones that control your periods. But when there's an iron deficiency, this hormonal balance can get seriously disturbed, leading to heavier and longer periods. On the other hand, these symptoms of iron deficiency anemia can also happen when you're losing too much blood during your periods. Think of it like a chain reaction. Low iron affects hormone levels, which can then make your periods more intense. And when those periods are heavy, you're losing more blood, and along with it more iron. Anyhow, the best way to pinpoint this iron deficiency is to consult with your health expert or a gynecologist. Number 8. Heart Palpitations A lot of people dealing with low iron levels might notice heart-related symptoms, with the most common being heart palpitations. Studies show that people with iron deficiency are at a higher risk of developing heart failure. And heart palpitations can be a clear sign of iron deficiency, especially if they show up with other signs of iron deficiency anemia. When iron levels drop, hemoglobin takes a hit. And that means your heart has to put in extra effort to get enough oxygen moving around. This extra effort can lead to irregular heart beats, or the sensation of your heart racing a bit too fast. Another thing to note is that if this iron deficiency lingers over time, it can lead to more uncommon heart issues, like an enlarged heart, a heart murmur, or even heart failure in severe cases. So if you're experiencing heart palpitations or anything unusual around your heart area, don't ignore it and consult with your health expert to find the underlying cause and get yourself treated. Number 9. Dry and damaged hair and skin. Iron deficiency isn't just about what's happening inside your body, it can also affect your skin and hair. When you're running low on iron, it can lead to dry and damaged skin and hair. So if your skin and hair don't get enough oxygen, they can become dry and brittle. And when it comes to your hair, it's not just about its texture. Hair loss can also be linked to iron deficiency. Some studies show that iron deficiency could be a major factor behind hair loss. Sure, it's normal to see a few strands in the shower or on your comb, but if you're losing more than the usual 100 hairs a day, it could be connected to iron deficiency. Besides iron, deficiencies in vitamin D, vitamin B12, zinc, and vitamin B7 can also contribute to hair loss. But when iron deficiency gets serious enough to cause anemia, your body kind of goes into survival mode. This means oxygen is directed to your vital organs instead of things like hair growth. So if you notice unusual hair loss, it might be a good idea to check in with a healthcare professional. They can help figure out what's behind it and whether iron deficiency might be part of the picture. Number 10. Mouth and Tongue Problems 
If your body is dealing with iron deficiency, you might notice cracked and red skin or sores on the sides of your mouth. Even your tongue might feel sore or appear swollen. Studies show that people with iron deficiency anemia tend to have more oral issues compared to others. This might include a dry mouth, as well as that uncomfortable burning sensation. So if you're experiencing any of these mouth-related symptoms or other signs that we have shown you in today's video, do not ignore them and get yourself checked as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.